Good evening, everybody. Matrix here, and here's my watch list for January 23rd. Uh, as you can see, I have the futures market up, uh, the chart up. We are gapping down ever so slightly from the 12 a.m. open. Uh, however, we are still holding uh, yesterday's close as support, and we have very clear resistance at 2640. That actually relates to the 240 area on the SPY. So I'm going to bring that up real quick here. 264 area in the SPY and the 263.20 area. So we are right in this purple shaded area. Um, this in itself, uh, to me, looks like a sideways channel. Um, in essence, I would call this the no-fly zone. Basically, until the stock... Uh, breaks out either way of the sideways channel. It's pretty hard to call out a direction for the stock. Uh, I do like the resistance of 264 though, and uh, we are seeing the 200 uh, EMA coming down on it, sloping down a little bit. So that's uh, a bearish signal in my opinion. Uh, we also have 265 acting as key, key psychological whole number and resistance area. So if it does pop, uh, I am more inclined to look for the short uh, anywhere around this 264 to 265 area. We'll just have to wait for that double top or the lower high. Okay, so with that said, uh, let's go to some charts. Good thing we have a lot of earnings plays uh, tomorrow. We have three companies coming out with earnings pre-market that I would like to look at. But even before we go to that, uh, I have picked out a couple of stocks myself. Uh, I'm still liking Lulu. I didn't play Lulu today because uh, the action was quite choppy. It didn't really do what I wanted to do because I was looking at the topping of 152 area and it didn't really get there. Right. Although it did do um, one, two, three, like a triple, quadruple top here at the open, it just dumped from there, came back. But the action overall was uh, pretty choppy. But I still want to keep the sticker on watch for one reason, and that's because of the daily chart over here. So let's bring in the daily chart real quick. Uh, as you can see, this is a very basic. Uh, candlestick pattern called the bearish haram all right um, and what this is it signifies uh, certainty in in the overall ticker okay um, to play this uh, it signifies um, uncertainty and it signifies uh, a possible reversal now note that I did use the word possible so we don't know if this is gonna dump uh, overall looking at the chart is still very overextended and to me, it does look like it needs to pull back down a little bit closer to the 9 EMA. Uh, we are currently trading under the 150, which is a key psychological whole number as well as a key chart resistance area. So let me zoom out, mark out the 150 for you. So we are still under the 150. So that's why I still like it for the short. Now, let's mark off a trend line here real quick for you. Um, basically, how would this look like? Yeah. So earlier when I was prepping uh, the watch list, I basically had this trend line mapped out kind of like that. And I have this trend line mapped out like that. Okay, so uh, calling on the textbook play, basically how to play the bearish Rami is once the trend line, the the upper trend line here snaps, you should be entering right here at the snap of this trend line. However, I don't like shorting breakdowns. I actually like shorting uh, from the top reversals, uh, anticipating the breakdown. So I'll be looking for uh, a pop out or a cover pop and it hits chart resistance. That's where I'll be looking to short. Now I have mapped out a resistance zone real quick. Okay, so basically anywhere from 150 all the way to 155.0. My thesis is this. As long as the chart or the price is playing under this shaded area here, which is a resistance area in my opinion, um, 
I like to keep the short thesis on. All right, as you can see, uh, the 15 minute chart here, it basically bounce, bounce, bounce. And then today it topped out, topped out, topped out. Uh, I'm looking for a cover pop into this area. Uh, as long as it holds under 150 to 150, 50, I like it short and I want to anticipate the snap of this uptrend line. My first target or my my ultimate target target would be 147.50, okay, which is a very key psychological number. Uh, looking at the prior green day, we have 147 as a low, so it could go as low as giving up all its gains and bring it back down to 147. So I like that idea. I'm looking for a pop into this resistance zone and then a topping action, and then I want to hammer it back down. So that's Lulu. Uh, next up, we have IBM. IBM came out with a positive earnings reactions as well as a fantastic guidance for the year. Um, hence this massive uprun after hours. Now, if you look at the previous day, it basically closed, or today, it closed at 122. And from here, Oh, sorry, 122.50. And from there, after the earnings, it shot up $10. Now, this in itself is a super overextension, in my opinion. And whoever bought today uh, gambling on the earnings win, they just hit the jackpot. I'm anticipating them to sell a little bit at the open to cause the stock to dump and dip. Um, if you hit the jackpot, Right now, uh, you would sell too, right? So there are a few areas I want to watch, right? Uh, I want to mark off the high of days at around this 13175 area. Okay, if we have a cover pop, I'll be looking for topping action right here, possibly a double top or a lower high from this area. Short it back down for the overextended short, right? Um, however, it is a positive earnings reaction though, so this stock can still run. And if it does break out of the highs here, the next resistance mark I'll be looking at is 133.40. So let's mark that off real quick here. 133.40. Oh, by the way, if you see this blue line, I've added a new MA here. This is a 100 SMA. So anyways, 133.40, this is the next key major resistance area. As you can see from where, yeah. uh, October 17th, okay, we have massive volume, okay, this is the low of uh, the, the massive volume candle here at 133.40, and then the very next day it topped out there as well. So this is the next chart key resistance area in my opinion, if it blows through the highs of this 132s, 131.75, it should get up to the 133.40s area. And from there, I'll be looking for it to reject and uh, sell off because by then it will still be very, very overextended. Okay, uh, with that said, um, let's take a look at some support areas. Uh, key support here, I'm looking at 127.5 as well as uh 128 okay so after hours it basically ripped dipped and helped this 127.5 tested it uh proved the breakout of 128 and uh, it ran from there so a dip at the open if it holds the support area if it shows me a double bottom or a higher low from here uh, I might just long it because it is on a per positive earnings reaction. Okay, so that's IBM. Next up, we have uh, Apple APL. The daily chart to me looks very bearish in my opinion, and uh, I like to take a look at a short from 140, uh, sorry, 154.50s to 154, a key psychological whole number. Uh, this to me is uh, is a resistance zone, in my opinion, for the past few days. So let's take a look here at the intraday chart. 154. Uh, at the close, it wasn't. It's the biggest bounce from the close, and it wasn't able to get over it. 
and then 154.50s is in and around this VWAP, the 50 uh, EMA as well. So zooming back a little bit, we have some chart resistance right here. We have some chart support, prior support right here equals resistance. So in essence, this whole area is a resistance zone. Okay, so if it holds under this area, I'll be looking for a short and a continuation down day, um, anticipating the snap of today's lows. This will be my first pay target here, which is a 152.50s area. And then if it uh, snaps through, it should be able to come back down to, I like this. 151, 150, 75. So that's my short thesis on Apple. Finally, I might, I, I want to bring up EDIT at Deras. Um, interestingly enough, Kramer talked about this on CNBC as well. Now, I'm not saying Kramer is one to listen to because he is a bonehead. But however, uh, I do want to talk about the catalyst on uh, EDIT. It's basically they dump 22 and change percent uh, because their CEO announced that uh, she is resigning all of a sudden. Okay, so that to me is uh, very suspicious because um, EDIT has uh, some positive catalyst coming up in the in the middle of the year for uh, their drug testings and clinical trials and whatnot, um, for the CEO to resign ever so suddenly, uh, it tells me that um, she knows something that we don't know or she fucked up on something that she can't tell the, the uh, public about it. So um, that that to me is very suspicious, hence this, uh, this um, massive smash on the stock. Uh, I do think uh, the stock has more downside to it, potentially bringing it back down to the 18s area. Okay, uh, however, the stock is on SSR, so shorting this could be uh, pretty uh, difficult. I will look at an opportunity around the 22 area uh, anywhere around 22 to 2275, let's just say. So this area right here, um, as long as it stays under this 22, 2275s area, I, I do like it for the short and the continuation down, down play on the stock here. So uh, looking at 22, um, we have on the daily chart, we have keys, support, or prior support now becomes resistance and the bottom of these wicks kind of makes uh, the resistance zone okay so edit with that said that's basically my watch list for this evening tomorrow pre-market open we do have three stocks that i like to watch that's coming out with earnings as well uh, i'll be paying a close attention to aal american airlines um they sold off Let's see, AAL, they sold off already today and uh, they haven't even came out with uh, their earnings. Let's see, United Source after four quarter beat. But did they already come out with earnings? But anyways, uh, on Finviz, they say the earnings is actually coming out uh, in the morning. Let me double check real quick, AAL. January 24th before pre-market open. Seriously? Hold on. Let me pause the recording real quick. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I had my dates wrong on my earnings uh, on the pre-market open. So uh, it turned out that I picked three earnings plays that's gonna open tomorrow uh, on January 24th. However, it's only January 23rd right now. So, uh, a quick apologies about that, but uh, tomorrow, before market open, I'll be watching uh, Procter & Gamble. They will be coming out with earnings, so uh, let's watch that instead. Uh, 
on the pre-market side and so far we have one two three four tickers and play that should be okay for now i mean uh perhaps pre-market will still find something else to play as well four for me is actually all i can fit on my platform anyways i do like procter and gamble the average shoe range is a dollar 82 uh with earnings coming out in the morning uh and an average volume of 11.5 million. Um, I do think uh, this stock has potential to make great news tomorrow. As you can see, it sold off today before earnings and then it had a little cover pop. So I think people are anticipating bad earnings. We'll see. Uh, so that's my watch list this evening. If you enjoy it, um, make sure you click the like button and subscribe. Very important that you guys click the like button for me. Uh, every single like helps. And uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and type it in the comments. Uh, share, like, subscribe. Check out the video links uh, in my description below. Uh, I've had people ask me how they can contact me. Well, they're all in the video, video links. You can contact me through Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Discord as well. And I'll see you guys all bright and early tomorrow. Ciao.